Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me Nikki here and please excuse how I look but I just wanted to come on camera to say hi. I had a long work day, been very busy. Good stuff but very busy and so I look a little uh, disheveled but that's okay. More importantly, I wanted to come and give you some valuable information. And one thing I wanted to share with you today is how to organize your computer desktop. That is one place that if you let it get chaotic, it could really be frustrating for you when you're trying to find your items that you've saved onto your desktop or, you know, it's the first thing that welcomes you when you go into your computer. And if it's cluttered, it, you know, it's kind of a you know, not so happy space for you when it comes to the digital world. So I want to share with you a wonderful tip on how you can organize your computer desktop in a beautiful way. So let's jump right in. Okay, friends, so what we're looking at now is my computer desktop and your desktop on your computer, you have to think about it like your desktop, like your, your physical desktop. You want to keep it simplified. You want to keep it clean and you don't necessarily want to see all of your work on your desktop. You want to have a, a file cabinets for that and, and places that are behind the scenes, but, but that you can quickly access that. So when you think about your computer desktop, you know, think about it the same way as your desktop. You want it to be engaging, simplified beautiful, and maybe a few little items that you need to get quickly at your reach. And so when you look at my desktop here, you see that I have a calendar right here on the left-hand side, and I put a monthly calendar here for quick references. You know, sometimes when I'm working, I need a date, I can look up right here on my computer desktop that usually stays up, and I can easily get a date without having to look at my plan or look, you know, anywhere you know, else. So that's like a quick reference there. The other thing I have here is I have different sections here, which allow me to move my icons around depending on what it relates to, I can move it over that section and it quickly tells me what that item is. So I know under my need to sort things, these are things that I probably have worked on over the week and I need to get them in their proper folders or files. And so a lot of times when you're working, Eh, you don't have time or you don't make time to put things in their files. But if you have your desk organized, your desktop organized in a way where you can just slide them over into this section, then when you do your end of the week clean out, you can easily just kind of put them in their permanent file and folder. Another thing I have right here is in the works. This is where I put things that I'm currently working on. So it's things that I want to make sure to follow up on today. Those are the things that are just kind of right now things. I have them here on my desktop. Another thing that you can use this for is when you have, um, Things like tomorrow, I may have things that I want to work on. I can put it right here as a reminder when I come and log into my computer. It's right here under in the works. And then right here, I put personal things. Like I have a rug that I found online that I'm interested in. So I kind of put it right here really quick to reference. And it's something that I'm not necessarily going to keep. Once I really have a chance to look at it or match it up with something, I'll throw it right in my trash box. But right now, it just fits being right here on my um, in the personal section. And then I have a little motivational quote, quote here. Success is, li is success is liking yourself, liking what you do and liking how you do it. Maya Angelou. So I just wanted to put a little inspiration there. I wanted a little function here. And then I have my three different categories, which brings a huge amount of function. So today what I want to do is I want to take you through a tutorial on how I create this so that you can create a kind of backdrop to help you organize your desktop. And if you're one that have icons all over the place, you definitely want to incorporate this into your work day or into your working system. So now let's go ahead and start the process. Okay, friends, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. They have a free version that works exceptionally well, they have a paid version, but you don't have to do that, especially for what we're doing. So once you go to Canva, you're going to need to sign up. Just simply sign up, give them your email address. It takes all of a minute or so. It's not bad at all. And then once you get in, you want to get to this page that I'm on here. And so what you want to do is put this video on pause until you get to this page if you want to walk through doing this with me. Okay. And I'll try to do it at a pace so that if you want to do it with me, you can do that. So now that we're on our page, the first thing that we need to do is we need to find out what is your computer screen resolution because you want your backdrop to really fit your screen. Now I'm a Mac user. So for Mac users, what you want to do is you want to go to that little Apple in the corner of your um, top left of your screen, that Apple, go down to about this Mac. And then what it will do is you'll see at the top overview, display, storage, support, and services. You want to choose display. 
And display will tell you that number. So you'll see here, mine is 2,560 by 1,600. And so that is the resolution for my computer. And I need to put that into Canva so that it can make my template the right size for me to work with. So once I have that number, I wanna go right here to in Canva where it says custom size to the right and you wanna click on custom size and then you wanna add in that number. I had 2560 over or by, not over, 1600 and you keep the PX there and then create new design. So now it's giving me my template to make my backdrop for my desktop. So what I wanna do is I wanna build a desktop that is very simple, but will allow me to keep things in order. So as you remember with my desktop, we're gonna kind of recreate something similar so that you can get the gist of it. But then I just wanna show you how to do it and you can customize it to fit what you need. You may wanna put pictures on your desktop. You know, you may wanna put phone numbers that you reference all the time. So it's, it's totally up to you. So the first thing we do is we want to get our blocks, right? We wanna get those blocks that I had. So you wanna go over to this, um, menu right here on the left hand side and you want to go right there to elements and click on elements and you'll see that it brings up different elements and so what we want to go down to is shapes and you see shapes right here it gives you you can click see all and it'll give you a variety of different shapes well let's go with the basic square and you can alternate the square to be a rectangle and all kinds of things so when you click on it allow you to move it around and so let's move it up here in the corner because that's going to be our first square there and i'm going to shrink it down i want it to be a different size there i would say about because this whole white space is your computer desktop. That's gonna be the size of it. So that's what you're working with. And so here, we're gonna put it up in the corner there. And I think I'm gonna want three of them. So I'm going to click on it and I want to duplicate it. So right up here in the top right-hand corner where you have the two sheets of paper with the plus sign in the center, that's duplicate. You click that and you see it, it made another box, the exact same size. And so I wanna put that one right beside. So I'm gonna hit duplicate again because I want a third box. But the third box, let's make this a different size. I want this to feel be one big box at the bottom. This may be a category that you want to create to, to you know, that holds a lot of things on your desktop. So then you can just simply stretch it out to fit. And there you have one big block. Let's stretch it down because we want it to just look even. I'm gonna stretch it up. So it's really simple. It's just, this canvas is just a drag and drop. It's really easy. And so looks like I need to move this over a little bit, doesn't it? So maybe that's better, huh? So now I want, I want them to be, oops, I need to go in here a little bit just to make them even. And so I want it to be different colors. So when I click on the first one here, it's gray. So I wanna change the color. So I go up here to the color block right here and you click it and it brings up your color menu. So if you wanna change the color, you have all these default colors right here that you can you know, change the color, basic colors. But if you want a more customized color or you have a brand, you want it to be on brand and you know your um, hex code and your color codes, you can just click that and then plug that number in there. Make sure you have the um, hashtag at the beginning of your number. Um, and then if you don't know the number, but you still want different custom colors, you just click that and then you move the little circle around and it will kind of take you through all of the colors until you get to what you want. So for my purposes here, you guys know I love my greens, but I don't like it that bright. So let's darken this green a little bit. It's a little bright. And then let's do a pink or let's do a yellow. It's springtime. Oops, quite bright, but I guess it'll be okay for tutorial purposes. Uh, but we will just kind of help that out a little bit. It's just, it was just a little too bright. And then the one below, what color friends? I don't know. You know, I love my gray. So maybe we'll just keep it gray. How about that? So now you see we have our sections here. So now we want to tag our sections. So you wanna put little titles, title, not tag. You wanna title your sections. So on your side menu bar here, you wanna to go to text and then it gives you text options. So right here are the three different sizes. Now, even if I put the big one in here, I'm able to change my font size up here. You see up at the top, I can change it to whatever. So it really doesn't matter which one you choose. You're able to alter. Um, the font size so we just pick the big one and so let's name our first our first category um personal okay and so i want to this little circle here is where you click on it here and it allow you to move it around so this second this this first circle 
it will allow you to turn it, you see, to the side, but then this second one will allow you to move it around. And then what you wanna do is highlight it. You wanna change the font to something pretty or what you like. There's so many, Canva has a variety of fonts here, so you can change it to whatever you want. Now, one thing about Canva, because they have the free option and they also have a paid option, some things you may not have access to. I will say Canva gives you access to a lot. So it's very minimal what you can't access. But what happens is you see the little crown here on the side. Those are fonts that belong with paid Canva subscriptions. So you probably won't be able to use those fonts. But as you can see, there's a lot that you can use. So let's just choose any font here. And let's say that's personal. And then let's move it over here and let's say I want to shrink it down so I'm gonna it's 130 I'm gonna make it 80 um, and then let's change the font down to make it smaller and then let's say um, instead of black I want to make it white so it pops out on that green so I just highlighted it and I clicked my color up here for my text color and I'm going to click white and it made it white there so it feels like with the font I'm using, you can't read it. So let's change that font because I cannot even read that. So let's change to something like, maybe I'll just change to something. I won't go to script. Let's just do that there. And then I'm going to shrink it down. And you can shrink it down by doing the minus or plus, or you can just type in whatever font number you, um, whatever number you wanna go to. And then let's move it down a little bit so that it's there. Now, because I wanna tag all of them in the same size font, instead of clicking over here and putting another one in and typing the label, changing the font amount and all of that, and let me trash that, hit the delete button. What you wanna do is you wanna click on it and you wanna duplicate it. Because by duplicating it, you don't wanna duplicate here because that is actually duplicating a page. You always, when you wanna do your duplication, you always wanna go up here to this three, the three dots, and then you wanna go over to your duplicate right here. Click it and you see it duplicated. I can put it here and then I can type in whatever the next word is, and then I'm gonna do it again so that I can get my title. So it just keeps everything in the same font. It just makes it faster for you. Of course, you can do it the long way, but you know, you can make it faster. So here we're gonna name this um, file to file. And then here we're gonna name it um, what, um, I don't know, let's just do favorites. Whatever you wanna name it, you know, you can do what I should've did probably what I have on mine, but and that's the case there. So we have this open space here that Say you wanna put a calendar here like I have. What I did to get that calendar is I went to Etsy and I paid two bucks for two years. So it's $2 for a 2021 and 2020 graphic that has um, each year on it. And I'll link who I purchased mine from in case you're interested. But to get the calendar in Canva so that you can add it to your template here, you wanna go over here to uploads. Now, if you have your logo or if you have <clears throat> pictures or anything that you wanna add to your desktop organizer here, you're going to click up uploads to get it into Canva. Then what you wanna do is you wanna click upload media and then you wanna go right here to devices. Now you see they have other options, Facebook, Instagram, Dropbox. So if you have the pictures or items in those locations, you're able to click on that and upload from there. But usually devices where you can go and kind of get it off of your computer. And once you do that, you click up upload and then it's going to upload it into your um, Canva. So once your media is uploaded, you'll see all your uploads right in here. You can even have video and audio, which is amazing. Uh, Canva has really grown over the years. So you can't see my calendar, but it is right here. And the reason why you can't see it is because it's written in black letter and it's on a transparent black ground. And then Canva's, Canva's background here is black. So of course you can't see it, but you see when I move my mouse here, it's right there. So what I'm gonna do is click on it and it automatically puts it into my template. So that's what I love about Canva, it's just so easy. So that's my calendar. And so I'm going to put it here and stretch it out. So I'm going to just go in my corner, you can stretch it out, make it fit the whole page. A lot of times I will put the month at the top just so that, 
I don't know, it just has a little color at the top. You'll notice that on my desktop, but for this, these purposes, we're not gonna do that. And then if, again, if you wanna put your logo or anything, you can add it on, you can shrink the calendar if you want it to only take up a certain amount of space and, and so you'll have more space to do whatever, but you can really just make it fit you. But again, when you're making your desktop organizer, it's best to keep it simplified so that it's not busy in itself. It's, it is supposed to be like your hard desk that you work from. It's very simplified so that you can really put things where they need to go. So say you want to add a picture to this. You don't have a picture of your own. Canva has millions of graphics and pictures that you can use. So what you can do is you go right over here to your, your same area here and you click on photos. And here you can see that Canva just has millions of photos. But again, I will say, some of them are free, tons of them are free, and then some of them are not. So how you can tell is as you put your icon over the picture, you notice it says free, 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 free. But if it's not free, it's going to tell you, it's gonna have a little crown and you're gonna see, it's gonna say pro, I believe. And you're gonna know that, but look at all of these are free. So if to find the picture that specifically that you want, you wanna go up here and let's type in yellow flower since we have yellow in there. And so all of these different yellow flowers come up. You can even be specific and say yellow rose. Let's do that. And then it'll give you exactly what you want if you want a yellow rose. And so, you know, you can put anything and everything they literally have on here. So now let's add a flower just to show you how to do it. Let's see, I don't know if I want the yellow rose. Let's just do yellow flower. Okay, and so we'll add this one here. So, um, well, this one you see right here where it says pro, that means you'd have to pay for it. And usually all usually all of their graphics is they're about a dollar. So if it's really something you want and you, you wanna spend the dollar, then I would say go for it. Um, but let's go down, we're for our purposes here, we just want to go to a freebie and grab a free rose. And I want something that doesn't really have a background on it because I'm adding it onto my desktop. Um, another thing that you can do is you can add one of these pictures over the entire desktop like this one here that has a lot of white space and then put your blocks over that and still have flowers down there. Um, but again, you know, I wouldn't get carried away. I would keep it simplified uh, for productivity reasons. But let's see here. I'm not having, okay, here's one right. Nope, that's pro. Everybody who is not have a background for me so far is is pro so we're going to find my perfect yellow flower maybe not let's try green flower how about is there a green flower what am i talking about here let's see oh, okay let's see here oh that is you're gorgeous so um but it has a white background i need something and let me do this so i'm green flower no background so i'm getting really specific with canva let's see if they listen to me and they're not really listening to me on that. Okay, so we're just, I don't wanna hold up the show with this. So I'm just going to put flower, no background and see if that works. Um, let's just do flower. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna put in anything friends just to show you. So I clicked on it, it brings it in. I can shrink it, put it to fit, maybe shrink my calendar down a little bit. If I want to put it, you know, and you can arrange it however you want to arrange it. You know, I'm just playing around here. So, you know, it's looking a little crazy here, but just bear with me. And so if you click it and you turn, you can turn it, you know, however you want, if you want to angle it, if you want to shorten it, you know, kind of whatever you want to do. Um, but again, there's so much you can do. You can customize it to your brand, whatever you want to do. So now that we have it, and, and again, this is just done, you know, just the way it is. It's nothing... Um, just, you know, it's just showing you, let's see. Okay. Okay. So let's move our calendar back and now let's upload this. We are, t we're ready to get this onto our computer. So the first thing that you want to do is go right up here where it says download and you have to download this as a PNG. Okay. So you just leave it. If it's not PNG, you want to drop down and you want to choose PNG, but usually I believe PNG is the first choice and you want to click download. And as you'll see down below, it is downloading to my computer and there it is. So then what you want to do, and by the way, um, when in the beginning of the video, when I said to find your resolution, go to the Apple, I'm sorry for my PC users. I'm not really sure 
um, how you find out your resolution on your computer, but you know what? You can Google it and I'm sure you'll find a, just a simple way to get to it um, if you don't already know. And so now that we have it saved, what we wanna do is we wanna add it to our desktop. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your Apple at the top left-hand corner, go to System Preferences, and then you wanna go down here to where it says Desktop and Screen Saver and click on that. And then what you wanna do is you want to find your graphic, the one that we you just did um, on where it's saved. And I see it's saved right here and click on it. And as soon as you click on it, it's gonna to go to your desktop and become your background. So let's click out of all of this. Let's see, Canva, yep, close it, we're fine with it, okay. So as you can see now, this is our desktop. We have our two file, personal favorite, and our calendar. So friends, I hope that you have found this helpful. If you enjoyed this video, definitely click that like button. If there's anything that you would love for me to do a quick tutorial on when it comes to small business, work organization, I would love to share. So definitely know, let me definitely let me know in the comments. If you're not subscribed to the At Work With Nikki family, we would love to have you. Definitely click that subscribe button. I hope you all are doing great. I will see you at tomorrow's video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.